Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to speak regarding update the policy system which is changed a lot and if in order for us to know how to progress whenever new season starts uh, through the policies we need to understand uh, which is a great way to start in general policies. Uh, update regarding my situation, my alliance got resurged twice in the beginning of the new season and I have like almost 1 million troops in my hospital trying to recover it. So this is like like main uh, news regarding my kingdom uh, and update. Let's dig dive regarding policies. Here, as you can see, it's uh, changed a lot. First of all, let's discuss the uh, prestige uh, generation ways. Right now you can't uh, anymore go to the uh, Dragon Trail and get more prestige through the uh, like uh, upgrading the levels. Here you're only getting books, experience books and uh, trail coins. Also from the loot in general you are not getting uh, prestige anymore. So in order for you to get prestige you need to simply play the game and we will just uh, say uh, how you can get the prestige in general. Here, whenever you're gonna click the icon of the prestige, Darkling patrols, killing the Darklings simply will go, gonna give you 1500 uh, prestige. Uh, tales like story, you're gonna, like I already did this story, but if you want to do it, you're gonna get prestige from here. Uh, donating to Alliance Technology, uh, single donation gonna give you 400 prestige. And the best way to get prestige currently is killing Darkling Forts because one Darkling 8 level fort is going to give you 4800 uh, um, prestige for yourself. Uh, now regarding like changes, as you can see there's like new policies like turrets, uh, augmented defenses, uh, healing. So like one by one uh, I will say like how it will be a good way to start progressing through the tree of the policies and the like main and most important policies to upgrade at first. First of all, always like military expansion got changed. Um, before it was pure numbers like 500 to 1500 additional troops, but right now it's percentages and military expansion one gonna give you additional 5% more legion capacity. Uh, like regarding medical recruitment and medical supplies, before you had to choose one to upgrade, right now you can upgrade both uh, daily resource healing and uh, daily elixir production. Of course, daily elixir production is the most important policy here because it's gen it's basically a free healing here you are spending resources to heal your troops which i will not recommend because uh, resources are needed in many different uh, aspects of the game such as research uh, researching the new uh, policies uh, building uh, constructions uh, recreating your army uh, and such as and later you are going to the game more resources you need so it's better to always have free healing uh, as always like whenever you're gonna hit military expansion four or five you need to upgrade like resource gathering to threes in order to get to the medic stuff here is same but of course here military expansion one and medical supplies is most important policy now here like uh, you are uh, this is this is three new policies. Basically, turrets are like towers which you can build during the battlefield uh, near to your tower. Uh, there is three different turrets in the game currently. One which I chose is a poison turret, which is gonna inflict damage like by time. Ice turret is like more supportive turret, which is gonna reduce uh, the march speed of the enemies and of course deal some damage. And fire turret is simply purely damage, dealing heavy uh, damage to a target legions. Uh, legions means that it's gonna give, uh, give damage to the couple of legions. Uh, here, as before, um, we had to choose which one we need to we wanted to upgrade. Right now, it got changed, and we can upgrade both. Uh, healthcare reform is an amazing uh, policy to prioritize. Because simply again, elixir production speed uh, up to 2.5%, uh, which is like a lot. Like currently, bonus is 10,000, and I'm only 1.1%. This is the priority policy here, and here is like again resource healing. Uh, you can upgrade the resource healing policies later in the game. 
here we have like additional skills and additional buffs to the towers uh, def defensive pushback simply giving turret attack up to uh, 50% uh, augmented defense like uh, additional levels to the turret um, and near to medical progress medical progress is a uh, resource healing you are getting turret destruction resources and uh, turret destruction merits like whenever your turrets gonna kill some enemies you are getting more merits with this policy which i think they are not so important uh, not to prioritize but what we need to prioritize here is rapid movement amazing uh, policy to have uh, up to 7.5 percent more legion march speed which gonna give buffs to every legion not only cavalry like everything mages marksmen cavalry infantry uh, and flying units this is a priority uh, policy here and uh, again, four new policies, ore healing, mana healing, wood healing, and gold healing. Uh, basically, what it means is that whenever, you, if you will decide to re use your, your resources to heal your army, um, like if we have uh, these policies upgraded, like healing wood will cost less, like up to, up to 25% uh, for each. Again, uh, policies became a thing to like hospital... Uh, upgradement like we are upgrading our hospital to work in a better way and faster way so like not so important but fine in the late game what is important here is military expansion 2 uh, which gonna give you 20% uh, more legion capacity super important policy still and always will be uh, regarding administrative excellence this is a warrant capacity to get more uh, warrants to uh, ga to get your war pets uh, I always upgrade this administrative excellence late game because here are like one of the most important policies again and still, right? Everything here you can upgrade, but priority is um, uh, medicine stockpiles too, uh, free healing, daily elixir production, uh, like you can see how much, right? And here uh, daily elixir production speed, uh, again here are free healings and here are resource healings. Uh, this is like a um, uh, new updated policy system, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, I like the addition of the turrets, like more fun to the PvP and more fun to the fun uh, to the wars. Uh, I like the percentage-based military expansion, uh, and of course I like the Legion March March speed. Uh, regarding like priorities, like again I will say once again in a faster way: military expansion, medical supplies healthcare reforms, uh, rapid movement, military expansion 2, uh, medicine stockpiles 2, healthcare reforms 2, and then you can do whatever you want in this policy section. Uh, this is all I wanted to share because uh, like this might get confusing because like you need to upgrade at first uh, medicine, medicine stockpile to get the gem prospecting, uh, prospecting like if you want to uh, upgrade more military expansion or, or like upgrade medicine stockpiles to supplies to level 8, I need to upgrade war studies to 8 and artifact exper expertise to 8. That's why I think it was important to know which uh, policies you need to prioritize and how you need to uh, value your time in the beginning of the season because start of the season is one of the most important in my opinion uh, thanks for watching uh, i hope you liked the video if you have a different opinion regarding policy system uh, please share in the comment section because this game is a wide and a with the big uh, systems uh, maybe you have better idea and i will use it myself uh, thanks for watching bye bye